Hello everyone and welcome back to Hogwarts Mystery. In the last one I sadly had to end the episode out before it got too long because now we got an extra side quest going on because we have pets or creatures we need to feed. So I'm actually recording these episodes back to back just to make sure I get all uh, taking it all in and understanding everything. So basically what we are going to do in this one is to go and not talk to Penny, because that's not uh, the, the side quest we were going for. We're going to creature comfort. Find magical creature food, which is apparently in the corridor. Or rather, in the artifact room, however. So we can go in here and not meet Ravowen, because that's the main quest. But go find some food. And I wonder if that's like a regular thing that we have to go all and do and all the time. I'm, I'm not quite sure. I've seen Kettleburn store some of his creature supplies in this room. Yeah, that's maybe why Hagrid sent us here, though. If I search around, I could be able to find some uh, creature food. Yes, indeed. So let's go and do that. It's a what? It's a three-hour one, but it's nice to see that you can also see you get house points rewards for this, apparently. <laughs> okay, great. And pet food. So it's actually going to be interesting to see how much pet food you get from doing this. Because that I am definitely unsure of. Um, let's see here. At least we get some good fibers going on here. Not fibers, but fibers? <laughs> bad pun, bad pun. Okay, let's see. And I also like that um, the character has more animations to them now, because now I think it's because of the age of the game now the the earliest classes there you are very like stationed but in the newer side quests and such you're walking around you're much more interacting with all the items which is really nice to see that there is some sort of an evolution to the game and she's just walking around grabbing food here and there willy-nilly which is really <laughs> like what we were actually there to do so that's fine let's see here I'm wondering if it's just like a class event, so... Uh, no, it's just like a continuous event. Okay, good enough. I just wanted to be sure because maybe if it was a class event, you would, do, you would probably have turned around in the closet and looked for some more items, different places. I don't know. Anywho, let's go and see here. And... I'm actually really going to be intrigued by like all the things that we have to do in in all the spectrum of like the new creature thing because that's a whole new thing to this uh, game, and it was they 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 um I think they actually talked about it or they kind of spoiled some of it on the way in the past two weeks and you kind of like go okay so every time it updated you were ready you were ready to um. Because you thought it was... I, I personally thought it was going to be a side event of some sort. However, it it wasn't. <laughs> um, but people was kind of like, if it's a side event, or a limited time is a side event, why can't we see it? Why can't we... There was a lot of panic about it, which I understand, because I was also like... Didn't I get it? I don't know. Oh well. <laughs> anyway. I'm actually very curious to see what this event actually brings. If it's always going to be like... A class here where we basically have to go and search for food every time we need it like a class event but instead of that then we just have to go search for food or it's just do your best find it if you can and the other thing that could be interesting is if we get crests for this I don't think we're going to because usually we don't unless it's like a class setting so yeah, I I'm not sure about it all, but this is very intriguing to me, to be honest. But it always becomes much more, f uh, much more fascinating when um, there is things to do, and that that is true. As soon as there are things to do, you just jump on it and you enjoy it because it's new and it's interesting. Oh, you actually get a lot of food for that. Okay. I thought you just got like one food for each star, but no, you actually get a lot of... Okay. Well, then it's very easy to kind of go and get food for the pets, that's for sure. 
That's interesting. I found the food I needed. Now I can feed my hungry magical creatures. Yes, we're going to be a pet slash creature hoarder at Hogwarts. Wonder if we're going to be uh, like we would just go missing and then be Hagrid's little prodigy in the years of Harry Potter. We're just in the woods and we're just helping out with all the creatures. I, could, I think that could be a very funny side story to that, but anyway. You're gaining the <laughs> You're gaining the hang of this, Ray. Why don't you try caring for the Niffler and increasing your thrust? Yeah, that could actually be good to go because we didn't really get to the higher level of feeding the Niffler or we didn't level up the Niffler while we were there last time. So it's actually kind of interesting to see what we get from living them up because I didn't check that actually. So it could be interesting to see. Okay. We only actually need two points to level it up. But since we got eight food, we 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 give them we give him a very healthy treat. That's for sure. We give him a very good treat right there. There you go, fella. Oh, he's so happy. He's so joyous. It's so nice. And of course, then we level up with the little niffler, and he's indifferent to us now. So he's not mistrusting of us, but he's unsure about us. So that's interesting. Oh, we get books for it. That is nice, because if, if we're trying to get the new... Oh, there's also a new pet, by the way. I should actually show that one also as well. It's like a uh, tiger-like looking cat, which is kind of intriguing. And of course, we level up our zoologist level to level 2, apparently. I didn't actually say that, obviously, because I didn't know. <laughs> but it wouldn't wonder me when you start out something and you level up one level and all this so things get um, to a steady level or steady pace so you can continue on with it. But it's going to be interesting if we can get a dragon or something because then we'll be very good friends with Charlie, that's for sure. <laughs> oh yeah, and then we unlock the, um, the fairy and the Pollock uh, because they said they unlocked the level 2 or something. So that's quite intriguing. The interesting thing is that this little fellow is very hungry constantly, as you can see, because we can feed him again. I'm assuming it's a he, for some reason. And as you can see, he's like hungry in two minutes. Like, not only is your stomach like this dark hole of <laughs> food, but also like, like you're also literally always hungry, basically. So what's the next level? Oh, that's just coins and okay. It could be interesting if it was just books all the way through or like with friends you get an item that we have not actually yet done as well, which is interesting. Anyway, Nifflers are affectionate. They... Uh, Nifflers are effective to the, those they trust. We know with a Niffler and you might be up for a coddle. Oh, that would be so new. Yes, that would be so adorable. Again, it kind of looks like a platypus. <laughs> I think that, again, as I said in the last episode, I really adore platypuses. People usually say they're ugly little creatures, but I find them adorable. <laughs> and that's just how I am for some reason. <laughs> I find maybe uncontroversial stuff adorable. Anyway, um, or controversial stuff. Anyway, um, we are also... Oh, level up the Niffler to affectionate level one. Okay, so we have to level that little fella up once again. Ah, I see, I see. But then while we're waiting for the little Niffler to get hungry again, we can actually go... No, not you. Then I guess we have to go to... Yeah, we have to go back to the castle to show that. Because there is a new pet going on here. Um... Oh, there's an energy point. Oops. <laughs> nom 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 nom, energy points. Um, if we go into the pet, there is like this... I, I, I would say like a um, tiger-esque something cat looking. Um, I'm not quite sure what they're based on, but they're quite intriguing. And as you can see, I've gotten all the other pets because I was lucky with the books. And now that we are actually here, Chester got a little new skin because of the last episode. That was the class event with the pumpkin. Uh, necktie kitty, as you can see here, close up. Um, I also found out that in the pet segment, uh, just the pet segment segment here, you can name the the 
the pets that do not have a bar for themselves yet. So I haven't actually named them yet. But if you guys have any good names for the snail, the spooter, and the doggo, then then please leave a comment down below with those names because I I'm a little uncreative with names at the moment. On the other hand, I think I caught the yeah I caught the frog called the frog spot. So it's not really that I'm ever creative with names. So if you have any creative names, leave a comment down below. That that could be very funny to see what what kind of names you guys could. Uh, potentially give um, but oh I, I said I wanted to okay um, never mind we'll just continue on having the spooter and we can feed the Niffla once again so it actually f um, kept up with well in time or it fit the time well so let's go and try and um, level up the little Niffler to affectionate level one hopefully it's the next next one I don't know perhaps Anyway, we'll just give him another three because that should be enough to level him up again. Because, but I do think the further we get with the more creatures, it will become more and more difficult to actually um, of another indifferent level. So it, it will actually take some time to get it up to affectionate. Quite intriguing. Um, but I think the more you work on the, or the more creatures you have, the harder it would get to get them to affectionate level. But he's actually going to be quite intrigued. Oh, now it takes two hours to feed him again, so he's not hungry right now, that's for sure. Aw, Niffler. That means we can then go and take a look, because I can see there's another one over here. So what's over here? Oh, that's a Pollock. Okay, and we actually have two books. Oh, he looks so scared. That's so sad. Aww. Poor little Pollock. We're right here for you because we actually have two red books because of the current event gives red books. So, here we go. Yeah, hello. No, 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 no. Don't be scared. Aww. They're so adorable. Here we go. Yeah. No, 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 no. Don't be scared. Wasn't it the creature that likes to pee with horses and protect the horses? Then he's in the wrong environment completely. Oh, well, that's so sad. You you want some food? Here you go. Here you go. I'm going to basically just hoard this um, area. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, I like that animation. That's adorable. Oh. And he can't be fed in four hours again. Okay, so basically, it's basically we can't really do more here. Um, but it, it is kind of intriguing. But where? That means we can't really uh, finish this off right now. Oh well, I guess. <laughs> but that means we can then go and talk to Hagrid on the other event, which is like going to talk to him about the magical pets which we have now postponed so many times now and but I think actually that would be a good idea to go then also talk about the magical pets because there might be something I don't know perhaps I don't know um so that, that could be interesting so let's go and talk to Hagrid in the courtyard so we also kind of get the the other side quests out of the way I think that would actually be pretty much like, that, that would be good, <laughs> I think. So it's going to be interesting that, what you have to say here, because then it's just all Hagrid day. Oh. Oh. I see. Oh! Okay, there's one thing I, I never thought about with um, this character. Just a second. Barnaby. Oh, that's Barnaby? You can't see it from here, though. It's kind of like, it's kind of like blurred out. He just looks like a... Uh, like just a genetic character right there. Okay. I like to think of Neasles as the the Neasles of me of cats. Wait, is that the gray tigerish wild catish cat we we saw just a second ago? I don't know. Maybe. Um, the thing I was actually trying to say about this was the first time I saw her, I thought the, th the binoculars that hang around her neck was nunchucks. 
for some reason. I don't know why. But I just couldn't see the connector between the two uh, telescopes. I, I just couldn't see it was binoculars, basically. Um, so, <laughs> um, I thought they were nunchucks. I know, because she also had this, this like green band around her stomach, so it was just my assumption in my brain for some reason. I don't know why, but it was actually kind of funny. Anyway, let's see. My sister sent a letter saying her croup had just had croupies. And here I am like, what are those creatures? Because I can't really put a face to it. Do we have those? What was this again? Uh, doesn't actually say it though. It's it does say. Oh man. It doesn't actually say what the kinds they are. Okay. Never mind. I thought I knew something, but I didn't. So Angus, let's just have you with us from now on. Maybe. I don't know. Let's see here. Oh, that's Charlie. Okay. He's also kind of hidden away. Looking like a generic character over there for some reason. They just the only one that actually stands out right now is Liz. <laughs> the others are kind of hiding away, or hidden away from us. Oh well. You know what's more amazing than a pet? Dragons. He has dragons on his brain. I swear. <laughs> you know the more amazing th than dragons? Nothing. No, that's quite evident with your adult job in Harry Potter. Because you are actually not in the series as far as I remember. Or in the movie series, he's not. He's just been mentioned a couple of times and the family travels down to visit him. I think. Again, I am not the most knowledgeable person on those parts. I actually thought about playing the Lego Harry Potter games at some point. Uh, mostly because you get a whole story about them, and I, I, I like the little quirks that the LEGO games has, so that, that could be funny too. Anyway, ramble, 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 ramble. Oh, oh, never mind, we can actually move towards him. <gasps> oh, hello, Fang. You here too? Hello. I can tell you have the way with animals and creatures, Ray. Yeah, did you just see how well we were with the Niffler? I think it's starting to like us. <laughs> Thanks, Hagrid. Have you ever considered of getting a pet that's more than magical? Maybe a crop or a measle? Aren't those unauthorized? Ah. Eh, <laughs> they just have to be supple or discreet like me, Ray. <laughs> well, if they don't know you have them, they can't say you can't have them kind of thing, isn't is that that is that what they're trying to say? <laughs> anyway, I would I would love to own my own magical creature. Where can I get one? Well, we already have a dorm full of them already. <laughs> Just head back to the Hufflepuff common room. <laughs> and don't forget to introduce a new magical pet uh from me and Fang. Ah, okay. <laughs> Again, reading accent is a little harder than just reading. Anyway, if you want to get a magical pet, uh, go to your dorm room. Ray. They are waiting for you there. Okay, so we'll go to our dorm room right now. Was that just one of the? Yeah, that was just one of it. So it's basically just the introduction part to the pets. Okay, that's good because I thought we had to do so much more. <laughs> So let's go Helping here. Is its own okay. It was basically just an introduction. That's good to know because I thought it was something else. I thought we actually had to do actual thing to do. Like we had to like Hagrid would have probably been sneaking up in our room and going like, Yeah, look at all the creatures you already have, man. But yeah. Okay. Oh. You are not awake. Okay, so we can also answer just collect some energies here. <laughs> fantastic. That's just fantastic. So, that that's something really. Basically, we only need to find the fa Oh, the fairies in the forest. Can we unlock the forest or do we need to... Oh, we can't go to the forest. So, let's go and see where the fairy is. So, oh, the fairy is right here. I think. We can't adopt her yet. 
Oh, she actually cost like four, 30, so she she doesn't want it. No! Okay, we will leave you alone. She's definitely not talkative right now, that's for sure. We, we will leave you alone, lady. We just leave you alone. And just go back to... Wait. Oh, maybe we can... Who can we talk to? Why can we talk to Niffler again? Oh, we can bond with him. Okay. Oh, that's so nice. Are you having fun, Nifli? <laughs> oh, this is so amazing. Anyway, I actually think I'll be ending off here while we are just tending to our little Niffler here. And until next time, guys, take care and have a fantastic day. <laughs>